All right, guys, we are ready to basically go here. Um, right. Yep. No problems. Uh, we're gonna go. So the point of this section is to give you a bit of a dungeon, and also the fact that Silica's are a party here. Uh, you do have Silica's party, and you can check their stats here. They will lose HP pretty much as you're going through here. Uh, it also says all their uh, items and such. Uh, you can go to the second page, though I believe they're not part of the fight. So as you're going through here, you'll you, you'll get a few text boxes saying uh, they've taken damage or something like that. Um, so you're going to have to move through here fairly quickly if you want to make sure that you don't have a lot of HP being taken off. Uh, looks like I haven't got any of those boxes yet, but basically what I want to do is go and talk to them here, because this is the room that they're in. Everyone will die! So yeah, a couple. Of, you can see a couple of them over there. I don't know why they're on the map, but whatever. Uh, so Valvo lost 1 HP, Pal lost 4 HP. Alright, uh, so there's two things you can get in there. Um, so you're gonna go to know the secrets here. If you go through here, I, I believe it does that every time you enter a room. Uh, you can go to through these secret parts to get to a secret chest here. This holds the Gladius. Now, I believe this is a very powerful lance. Um, I think my son has it right now. Let's we'll see what my son has uh, in terms of stats. Uh, so yeah, it gives uh, seems to give 15 power. Damn, it's a lot of power. I'll probably say that my son is not the person that I'm going to use. Uh, well, actually, I believe you do get in a fight where you do use more than 10 units. So let's let's keep it on him for now. Uh, right now, we should go left. No, people losing HP. Right, so we go through the bottom right one here, and we get into a fight right away. Uh, yeah, I'm actually playing this on a 1.5 speed. Uh, all right, this one's an interesting one because um, it can be very annoying, but it's probably not going to be too much hassle for you as long as you know what you're doing. Now, the thing you should take into mind is this lava at the bottom is going to scroll up every turn. So that might annoy you. Uh, it's not that annoying, but that may annoy you for a bit, but generally it's not going to be too much of a big deal. So, yeah, I'm just going to aura this guy. Uh, right, so pretty much just, I I just try to kill these guys as soon as possible. I believe there are a few witches, there's four. Uh, they are annoying, but whatever. Uh, so my scent is over here. Uh, I am going to send him up to attack this guy. See what he looks like. Green motherfucker, once again. So yeah, he is doing a decent amount of damage to these biggles. Oh, this is Matilda. My bad. thought this was my scent. What the hell is my scent? Okay, my, my scent doesn't appear on this map. Alright. It is the first 10. I thought it was more than 10, but apparently not. Uh, right, so quick ring here. You're gonna take out this, well, try to take out this Slayer here. Hit rates aren't great. Yeah, fucking green Slayer, look at him. So yeah, this is one of the only uh, fights that you do that is actually um, your whole party, because most of the fights in this place that are gonna be coming up are gonna be Alm only. Um, and that's it, <laughs> really. Uh, right, so big ol' fucking piece of shit. Ugh, god damn it. Oh, I can't actually reach, okay. Alright, let's get Luke up. And we are gonna walk over here. And I will keep whoever that is down there. So yeah, the layers do go up as you do progress. Can be annoying, but if you know what happens is it's, it's not even that it's not even that threatening even if it because you only lose like five HP anyway this guy is a dumbass and doesn't know what he's doing fucking big <laughs> Biggles can drop the Sun Lance which is you could consider to be the most powerful lance it probably isn't in all honesty because it's just uh, it pretty much just um it's just 20 might that it adds, it's not really that great, and Silk is getting cr fucking creamed here, god damn it. Alright, luckily those witches didn't do anything, uh, but uh, we will take them out regardless. Oh, this one had lightning, great. 
Fantastic. Now I take lightning to the face. When I didn't have to. More speed for Python. Everyone's happy. Pretty much. Mm, I probably should use Matilda, not Force. Alright, e hat, e hat. It's just funny when Force like doubles Slayers just because he has that that ring. It's amazing. Alright. Get, getting slowly through this. Right. Uh, Silk is not the one with 100% hit Nosferatu. Because watch. Boop. Only one HP stolen. Because uh, T is, T is uh, not very strong at all. Well, whatever. Uh, that is a lot of barons you have. Seriously, why do they have so many barons? Like, what the fuck? Or high knights, whatever. Whatever you're calling them. Oh, come on, Cliff. Do this. Do this for me. Oh, come on, man. That shit. <laughs> ah, Luca. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm kind of getting annoyed here because no one's hitting, apparently, but uh, we will try this. There we go. <laughs> Slayer, my ass. Alright, um, I'm gonna move you over here. Because you are dying. End. Alright, Matilda's gonna take a, this check here. So I'm probably gonna give the Gladius over to um, Luca. Probably. And Luca is probably the one that you need. So yeah, you definitely want to make sure that you do actually have um, let's try and shoot this bitch. Uh, you do have two spaces, for one for the Gladius and one for the next thing that you'll get uh, coming up. Whoa! That's a nice effect on that, to be fair. Level 2 High Knights? Oh man! G. Can't handle. If yes. alright. Well, it didn't hit, so that's good. Everyone heals. Uh, right, so I think Python's pretty much one and gonna want to uh, take out this witch here. Or at least try. There we go. Right, so uh, Jute's gonna move up to kill these High Knights. Oh, oops. Whatever then. <laughs> I guess that works, I don't know. Uh, right, Cliff is gonna injure these guys, at the very least. Probably kill them, in all honesty. Oh, fuck. I cannot hit shit! And I am just sitting here, just uh, pew-pewing with <laughs> Alm's bow. Because why not? Wow, I actually created as well. So yeah, Alm, Alm's getting a lot of XP once you get to these areas, and especially coming up as well. Uh, this is going to be interesting. Alright, uh, so we're going to move up. Keep moving up. Uh, Force is going to run all the way up. And he's going to hit this guy here. Oh, level 4. They're really turning up the levels now. Man, Rudolph was fucking badass, but I took him out in one Ragnarok. Just like, yeah. First Ragnarok. Just like, why not? So yeah, we're pretty much near the end of the game. There's a, f there's one fight. Well, like I said, there's some fights that Om has to do, and then uh, there is one last fight before the final one. But yeah, it's not the shortest game, as you can tell. It's actually quite long for any NES game, to be quite honest. But I guess that's kind of what Fire Emblem was doing then, because uh, FE One was obviously quite lengthy as well. Never play if you want. <laughs> just don't. Alright, let's just... There's just too much here. Too much Baron. Too much Baron. Just too much Baron on the screen at that one moment. Python can't hit shit. Let's hope he gets better. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, 
let's take out the one that is level 4. A couple of them might be level 4 to be honest, but yeah. Uh, right, so level 1, level 4, level 2, and level 1. Alright. I'm gonna use the ball on this guy. Get some more XP for all. Hey, power and defense, that's nice. Actually, is this a, no, it's not. All right. So I can actually warp you over here. Cliff was warped. All right. Uh, let's try and take out the guy behind that is like level four. Yep. Yeah. Come on, Excalibur, you can hit. Come on. There we go. There we go. Actually hitting, yeah. Uh, right, okay, um, yeah. More force. Oh god. That screeching. Alright, well, I'm pretty much almost done with this one. Yeah, crit on this guy. That Star Wands, man. And, yep, on our, on our level over there. Uh, these guys are gonna attack Duke, which is gonna be painful as fuck. 16 damage, man. That is pain. But she is going to counter and kill them both, I would imagine. Luckily, not really in danger. Oh, okay. Attack Matilda. <laughs> Whatever. I don't think he could have reached anyway. Reached you, at least. Alright, so. Dead. So dead. Okay. So the party's fighting. Sonia lost one HP. Alright, so next we want to go up here. Uh, if you read the sign here, it will say only regal tr royalty beyond this point. Uh, I'm also going to swap the items. Uh, so Gladius here. Actually, I got someone. Oh, that is the Moonlands. Okay. Uh, so they say Luca. No, magic shields. That should probably go to someone, honestly. Let's see, uh, Holy Shield, eh. Holy Bow, Python wants that. Um, hmm. No, I, I guess, I guess Cliff could use that. Alright, right, let's go up. So, Alm's the only one that can enter here, so he's pretty much fighting against a bunch of these, uh, I don't think they call them bone walkers here. They're, they're very easy. Uh, basically, what there's a gimmick with some of the fights, but these guys are called whites, so just like F8. Uh, yeah, so you, you fight a few upgraded monsters, but they're generally nothing that you're going to feel threatened with because of the fact that Om um, um, should be a decent level by now. He sh he's probably, he, well, he has to be promoted. And uh, yeah, he's pretty much just, this is all you do this for, is to get him XP for the last part of the game. And crits galore. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's not challenging, it's just really getting him XP and free XP, so that's nice. Alright, now I need to remember where to go after this, because uh, I, I remember it up to this point, but after, uh, how, to, how to get back and actually get the uh, to the fight with Doma, I forget. This is great. I'm gonna have to think about that. Alright, so basically what happens after a few turns is eventually the, the gates here will come down, which basically means you'll be attacked by all these guys, but as you can see, it's not gonna really be a problem anyway. So, pretty much just kill these whites. Funny thing is, if I had Silk or something here, I wouldn't even bother. I'd be like, dear, you're all dead. Whatever. Uh, so, that Regal Sword that he's had for a while is pretty much just going to be on the, the side. Um, I've pre I, I, don't think I, can, I don't think I can store anything anymore, so I might... Yeah, there we go. And it moves the uh, pink square as well, which is annoying. So yeah, you're pretty much going to be attacked by all these guys, but it's nothing really that big. 
And I believe we fight the uh, promoted uh, version of the Gargoyles, Death Goyles, they're called, I'm pretty sure. After this. Yeah, these guys are level 13, but pff, whatever. That swing. Alright, so I'm surrounded, but it's just not really surrounded at all, let's be honest here. I could use this bow if I wanted to, but no, let's not. How much stats do these guys have? They apparently have 16 power, but I have 15 defense. And the Regal Sword, helping me out as well. Speed! Yeah, Som, you need speed. You haven't had it the entire game, basically. And you have like a 40 in it, or a 30 or something. Once again, with the crits. That I don't really need, but whatever. I'll take them. So I'm only getting like 20 XP off these guys, so it's pretty much done from here. Uh, right, so yeah, this isn't the only fight you do, obviously. Like I said, fucking go death coils after this as well. I believe there is one other one after that. Wink, wink. Alright, so crit out of here. Alright, so basically you're meant to keep going up, obviously. Uh, so these are the death coils. I believe they are just called that, yeah. Uh, they're actually pretty much weaker than the uh, the whites. Uh, so you're pretty much just gonna kill them very easily. They also have the weirdest palette ever. I mean, their wings are just flat purple. Like, there's no even attempt of shading there. It's just like purple. Boom! Uh, I don't get it, but whatever. Uh, apparently they can... Oh, okay. Yeah, they teleport the, um, the pink square around, apparently. Kind of strange, but alright. Uh, I'm not able to kill these guys in one round anyway. <laughs> alright. I pretty much could just take my hand off like the controls right now and just like occasionally hit the attack button. Because <laughs> that's all I need to do. But yeah, if you guide him. <laughs> I suppose I talk about it now, but yeah, it's pretty much my favourite Fire Emblem. I said this at the start, and I said this a bit in, I said uh, why I liked it so much. Because some people ask my reasoning for it, but you know, I'm not going to repeat myself. But uh, yeah, so far pretty much been my favourite for a while now. Um, I don't know if they're planning of ever doing a remake. Actually, interesting news I heard a couple days ago was that um, I, by, the, by the time this is uploaded, it probably isn't a couple days ago, but just so you know, um, I believe uh, the Japanese 3DS shop is getting Fire Emblem Gaiden like, ported to it, which is kind of strange, I thought. I'm like, alright, they're really gonna do that? Yeah. Seems strange to me. I don't I, I'm not going to hold the belief that there's going to be a remake sometime in the future, because I don't think there is. I think they're pretty much going with their their, their awakening and whatever else they decide. I can shoot my gaming tents. <laughs> yeah, that as well. I think they're pretty much no, they're not going to go back to the, making their two remakes, both FE1 and FE3. Maybe. Maybe they will. I would like to see a remake of this game, as you would imagine. And he's level 11 now, he's doing pretty well actually. Yeah, just move it around the fucking room, whatever. I believe the tiles it moves it from become sand for some reason, but okay. It looked like sand, yeah. Alright, so this fight... This is one of the interesting fights. Uh, these aren't dragons, uh, zombie dragons, these are white dragons. Uh, these are the only two you see in the game, so that's quite interesting. Uh, not that it ha holds any real relevance, it's just these are the only two that you see. They're level 10, they're not very difficult at this point, but, you know, they are here. They're just chilling. 
You only need to kill two of them, but, you know. Don't even get that much XP from them at this point, but whatever. So yeah, these dragons, don't know. They're just here because they're here, and they're white for some reason. But yeah, they have the exact same sort of animation and shit, so whatever. Oh no, no critical arm. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Hex. What? Oh. Really? I, he's never done that to me before. What the fuck? What the shit? <laughs> Alright, he just ends your turn. Like, what the fuck, man? You call me a pretentious brat as well. Like, what the fuck? This game has a lot of random shit in it, doesn't it? I mean, I didn't see Mega Quake uh, in the Jameel fight, and like, this happens, and I'm like, what? I don't even know. Anyway, so you get the Falchion here. Um, I don't know how much it actually uh, helps out, so I'm going to give the Regal Sword to Robin, so he can't use it, basically. Um, yeah, so it gives 10 power, and it's also... I, I believe the Regal Sword actually gives crit, but the Falchion does not. Which is strange. Uh, so pretty much we're getting down here, and I'm going to end the video right here. I'll see you guys next time when we go further on to take on Doma.